The Coronavirus Prayers In the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. Then man had a fall, and there has been a battle ever since. Whilst man is away from God, we will be in a state of a fallen world. 2 Chronicles 7.14 If my people, who are called by my name, will humble themselves, and pray and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven, and I will forgive their sin and heal their land. Is the coronavirus a plague of biblical proportions? A recent lockdown of Italy with the coronavirus seems to connect with Revelation 18.4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, lest you share in her sins, and lest you receive of her plagues. Do you need to come out of her? Her is commonly understood to be Rome. Let's continue on the topic of prayers for the coronavirus. The first one is protection. John 16:23. And in that day you will ask me nothing. Most assuredly I say to you, whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give you. So standing on this verse, it is simply, Father, I, or we, ask in Jesus' name for your protection from the coronavirus. Thank you, Jesus. Matthew 6.15 But if you do not forgive men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. Ask God who you need to forgive. If someone comes to mind, you should pause the video now and forgive this person out loud and why. For example, I choose to forgive person for a reason and I ask you to bless them, bless them and bless them. However, if you have the coronavirus, there is a need for a more detailed prayer. Matthew 21:21. So Jesus answered and said to them, Assuredly I say to you, if you have faith and do not doubt, you will not only do what was done to the fig tree. Note how Jesus had cursed the fig tree. When praying for the coronavirus, we need consideration of the fear associated with the coronavirus and what the roots of the disease are. Father, in Jesus' name I curse all fear associated with the coronavirus. In Jesus' name, I curse the spirit of death and command the spirit of death to leave this body in the name of Jesus. Father, in Jesus' name I curse all trauma and stress and the root of it. In Jesus' name I curse the coronavirus and the root of it. In Jesus' name I curse all bacterial infections. In Jesus' name I command the immune system to be strengthened and to function properly. In Jesus' name I command the pH balance, this body, of to normalise. In Jesus' name I command the electrical and magnetic frequencies to be in harmony and balance. In Jesus' name I command all pain and discomfort to disappear, and I command all affected tissues to be healed and function normally. But the most important prayer, if you haven't done this already, please repeat after me. Jesus, I ask you to forgive of my sins. I invite you to become Lord of my life. Today I choose to give you my whole heart. I ask you now to rule and reign in my heart and life from this day forward.
Father, through your Holy Spirit, lead me and guide me into all you have for me. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.